Yo, what's up guys, Raymond here. So today I wanna to talk to you about an EV battery recycling company, and it's a penny stock, and they have the potential to 10X, maybe even 20X their value here in the long term. Yes, yes, I know that EV is down here the last month, the last couple months, and you can really say that about the overall stock market just in general. However, I do know Again, that EV, you know, we've been suffering some losses, even though the sector or industry in general is actually pretty bullish over the next several years into the next several decades. So we're going to check out what the stock is doing right now, as well as jump into some of the information that's come out regarding this company here recently. There's actually a lot of positive news, and those could be catalysts going forward to push this stock price higher. And then finally, I'm just going to give you my own personal opinion on this company, on this stock and how we can play it going forward. So if that sounds good to you, go ahead and hit that like button like you always do and turn it a beautiful blue color and then subscribe to the channel as well to receive a daily update, stock market updates just like this one. And then also personal finance and how to build wealth. And then check out Webull, open an account, deposit $100 and they give you two free stocks valued up to $1,850. And then check out BlockFi as well. If you have cryptocurrency and you want to get an annual rent interest rate up to 8.5% on your cryptocurrency. And I have links for those down in the description below. So the company we're talking about today is St. George's Eco Mining Corp. And that's ticker symbol SXOOF. A couple of months ago, I did make a video on this stock. And in that video, we went into a deep dive. We did connect a bunch of dots. We went over a lot of catalysts for this company. But the playing field, especially in the EV sector, has changed in the last couple of months. So I just wanted to come here and then reevaluate this stock to see if it's a good play right now. Now, St. George's does a lot of different things. They mine, they have some crypto going, but I just want to focus on their EV battery recycling subsidiary called EVSX Corp. St. George's is currently trading around 34 cents. And over the last six months, this stock was around six cents and it went all the way up to a high of around 79 cents, which is around a 1300 percent increase. But since then, this stock has gone from 79 cents to that 34 cent mark down around 60% from its highs. After a 60% beatdown, this could potentially give us an entry opportunity if we are indeed bullish on this company. There's been some recent information released regarding St. George's Mining Corporation, specifically their EVSX subsidiary, which focuses on battery recycling. And pretty much it says that St. George's is a company developing new technologies to solve some of the most common environmental problems in the mining industry. Even though St. George's primary focus is exploration and mining of metals, they've recently added activities and started to operate in battery recycling and technology development. Their subsidiary, EVSX, is on the verge within the next few quarters to be a battery recycler. So that's really awesome to hear that EVSX, the subsidiary, could potentially in the next few quarters, even in this year, 2021, become a full-blown battery recycler. So what they're essentially doing is that they're looking at the problematics that they're going to get from electric vehicles and the whole EV industry in general. They're asking themselves, how do we connect all of this together? How do we get it from the mines to the public and then back via recycling? And how can all of the technologies we've developed over the years be used at these stages for the life cycles of these minerals? So it's really a full circle. How do they get the material from the mines, make these batteries, and then once the batteries are spent, used up, and then come back to them, how do they recycle those batteries efficiently enough and then start recreating the batteries all over again? So right now, it looks like that's really their primary focus. And then another thing is that they received their first shipment of batteries earlier that week. So it was about a month or so ago when this article was posted. So he was asked to confirm that they did indeed get their first shipment of recyclable batteries. And then he said, yes. And this is Dumas, by the way. He's the chief operating officer of the company. He said that, yes, they got their first shipment that week and it came from an aggregator, noting that the shipment contained a Tesla and GM batteries. So Tesla is starting to get into the mix, which is really exciting. Another thing, and I mentioned this on my previous video, is that Paul Pelosi Jr. is now serving as the president and director of their subsidiary EVSX Corp. At the time, some people thought that Paul Pelosi was given some honorary position because of who his mother is. 
And that's right, his mom is Speaker of the House Nancy Pelosi. And this has nothing to do with politics, like it or not. That Pelosi name, at least as of right now, carries a lot of power. It carries a lot of weight. And if your mom is the Speaker of the House for a government that's bullish on the EV sector in general, then I think that's more than a good thing. Because when Joe Biden was elected, electrical power suddenly became super, super important and essential. And you can see that is important because a couple of weeks ago, Joe Biden came out with his $2 trillion infrastructure plan. And EV has a huge part in that plan. Pelosi discovered the company's metallurgical processing patent while working with other companies in the space and reached out to look into this applications for battery recycling. In three weeks, he had a fantastic results. They never realized they were sitting on a gold mine until Paul Pelosi suggested that they test the batteries. In all, it looks like Paul knows exactly what he's doing since coming on board and they're starting to make strides. So that's good to see. And finally, make no doubt about it. It's going to take time. They're going to build a solid base and they think that they're building a company that is going to have very interesting potential over the next five years. Take note that this article specifically was published around the time that St. George's was seeing their record highs. But I think some of the key points still apply here today, even though the stock has pulled back tremendously. A really important thing is that lithium is really only successfully extracted in brine and ore and not clay. The average recovery rate of lithium in these processes is only 30%. Being only able to extract about 30% is really, really disappointing. It seems very wasteful, but St. George's has reported remarkable early stage results with lithium extraction up to 98% and completed in record time. Yes, 98%. St. George's is able to extract more than three times the amount of lithium than the average ordinary process. Now, Tesla is looking to start its own mining processing chain, and it is indeed true that the folks at Tesla may be looking to develop their own technology. However, that doesn't mean that they aren't in the market to acquire the tech. Now, that's another thing to take note of. If someone has already developed a way to extract 98% of lithium from whatever ore or clay or whatever it is that they've mined, and you don't have to go and do that legwork yourself, and you can potentially just acquire the company and have them do it for you, then hey, why not do it? And what better company to do that than Tesla. It's definitely a stretch that that could happen, but hey, you never know. Also, St. George's partnership with Altair International to produce clean energy recycling processes for lithium ion batteries. It's a revolutionary product as it reuses every last piece of these old EV batteries. Absolutely nothing is wasted. Zero. It's revolutionary and the potential is a boundless. So, super cool stuff here for St. George's, in my opinion. When you take a look at all of the things that this company has going for it, the fact that you know their recycling is able to recover about 98% of the materials. Now you have a Tesla and GM sending them batteries to recycle, and Tesla could potentially acquire them in the future, as well as the Biden's infrastructure plan that he revealed here a couple of weeks ago. The fact that the EV sector is going to just grow and grow and grow over the next several years into the next several decades. The fact that we really, really need EV recyclers right now, and also the semiconductor shortage is probably going to go away here short, uh, shortly. And then you combine that with the fact that you know that fire in China really put a halt on production. That's starting to go away a little bit. We can start to see some upside here on this stock price, in my opinion. So for me, the stock has been beaten down so much, down around something like 60, 70 percent from its highs um, a couple of months back. It might be worth buying this gigantic dip and then just kind of holding on and seeing what happens. By no means should you go all in, you know, today or right away or anything like that. But, you know, just add it to your watch list. If you're not comfortable yet, you kind of just want to take a wait and see approach. That's also fine because you're an investor and you need to do your own due diligence. There's no need to listen to random people like me on YouTube that make videos just for entertainment purposes only. So I hope you found this video informative, guys. I really appreciate you for sticking around this long. And if you did find the video entertaining, informative, helpful at all, please go ahead and hit that like button on your way out and subscribe to the channel to receive more videos just like this one pretty much every single day on the stock market, how to build wealth, 
personal finance, you name it, we talk about it here. And then don't forget to pick up your two free stocks with Webull when you open an account and deposit $100. And then check out BlockFi. If you have cryptocurrency and you want to get an annual interest rate up to eight and a half percent on your cryptocurrency and i have links for those down in the description below so again my name is raymond i hope you stick around and i'll see you in the next video peace